Hawkins. He has found a terrapin. Now, Ronald has had a very torrid time getting down to this position. He was placed roughly seven days' drive away, and so he's had to get through wolferia thickets and grass and mud and elephant footprints and now he is by the water and there's a terrapin. Now I want to see if we can get a little bit closer because what this terrapin will do is if just duck into the water if we give it any sort of cause for fear. And I wondered, I don't suppose the dam cam has a... Ooh, one terrapin just went in. Ah, Alice is operating the dam cam. Alice, can you get us a picture of Ronald? Can you see him? Alice! Alice can't see him at the moment. Um, right is because you know, you're you looking in sort of the right direction there, Alice. I think you need to go a little bit to the right-hand side. Oh, no, no, the other side of the dam, I'm afraid. Anyway, let's keep going a little bit forward because the big terrapin showed no signs of irritation at all. And there's another terrapin to the left of the big one. This is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. Now, we know that they're called serrated hinged terrapins. Many people don't know why they're called serrated hinged terrapins. Well, look at the serrations on the back of that terrapin's shell. You see those serrations? I know that Ronald doesn't have the best lens in the world. It's not quite as zoomy as some of the others. But you can see those serrations. And there are now two terrapins in Ronald's field of view. Teresa and Thomas, uh, they uh, are paying him absolutely no attention whatsoever. So we're going to try one more little sneak closer, I think. Now, Ronald must be polite to these terrapins, kind and gentle. Don't look aggressive. Don't make too much noise. That's Connor you can see driving in the <laughs> just out of your right hand side of your screen. Oh, this is just wonderful. Can you believe this? We cannot be more, I don't know, I don't think we're more than sort of 10 feet from those terrapins. That is fantastic. And they're sitting out here in the sun, 27 degrees, as we said, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that is the perfect temperature out here, and I think it's just beautiful. So now we can see uh, just how close they are using the damn camera. Ah, that's why Alice couldn't find Ronald, it's because he was behind a thicket. I had to drive through that thicket bravely, stoutly, to get to where he is now. So that's very nice. Let's go back to Ronald's view. And there he is there. So at this temperature, you'll find that the terrapins will spend sort of half the day in the water, half the day out the water. The water will be nice and warm, and it's just before they start, of course, to estivate. And when the water starts to dry up and it gets a bit colder, they will sort of go into the mud and maybe find a termite mound and they'll go to sleep for extended periods, like many of the staff at Wild Earth. Let's head across to Taylor, 